<laughs> Ended in divorce. <laughs> uh, Bears, Texas, Sunday night. Uh, bad news for the Bears. Both Roma Dunze and Keenan Allen uh, missed Wednesday and mm. Thursday practices. See, better news for Caleb. CJ Stroud sharing some advice. Take a listen. Be yourself. Understand whatever got you here is, is just good enough. You don't got to be superhero. You don't got to try to make all the plays. And sometimes the boring plays are good. Um, but yeah, that's what the advice I would give to him. By the way, I threw for 400 yards my second game. No, no big deal. Uh, willing to guarantee a Caleb bounce back game because I think he only had 90 something yards. Somebody just <laughs> yeah, I, well, I'm willing to what? more than guarantee it. Wilds, if you'll don't, join don't, me. please don't. Between this and the Dunce Trevor cap trash guarantee. hour, you won't you're, do it. All right, all right, you know what? Fine. I know you don't like the Dunce cap guarantee. I got a different one. Here are the stakes. Of, here, here are the parameters. You tell me if you'll join me. I, if Caleb has a game, any Brew can be the judge. A dud on the level of week one, I lose. And if he outplays Caleb, or if he outplays CJ, pardon Out me, plays CJ? outplays CJ, you lose. To shave your head special. No, okay. Okay, <laughs> this guy won't do it. All right, well, I was willing to do it. I, Under no uh, circumstances. I, 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 wow, I was willing to do it. That's here's, over 110 here's, yards. Here's what I'm willing to guarantee, Greg. Much like some of the other much ballyhooed first or first overall picks, we can show it to you, who struggled in their opening game. Don't show this He is going to bounce back. Joe Burrow had an awful opening game, bounce back. Andrew Luck had an awful opening game, bounce back. Now, John Elway still had a bad game, but it was better than his one for eight for 15 yards in a big. So, yeah, guys bounce back. He is not going to have that bad of a game again. Now, at some point in the year, he'll oddly probably have a worse game, meaning he'll throw for way more yards but have three or four turnovers like most non-CJ Stroud rookies do over the course of their career. But he's going to bounce back. He's one of the greatest College players ever, and I understand why you guys don't care about hearing about that with Trevor because he's four years removed. He's one NFL game removed. I, I don't doubt that, he's going to bounce back. That, I'm not saying he's a bust. That, I'm talking about the Texans defense it, right now. It, 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 we thought the Texans defense was great in week one. Your week one is is, is sacred. <laughs> hey, uh, was the Texans defense great in week one? I, look, I think he's going to be better than he was. I think he'll throw for 100-something yards. You don't but... think he'll get to 200? Uh, Jeez, no, you got to hope he gets to 200 I don't think yards. he gets to 200. Okay. You may, we'll see. I mean, I don't think Rome Dunze is going to play. Keenan might, but he's going to be hampered even if he plays. But I, he may not play. And I think D'Amico Ryans is going to draw something up defensively where they – like, I thought Tennessee kind of – they had him thinking. Let's put it that way. And that's not unusual. He's a rookie first game and all that. But he's an instinct player. And so, if he has to always – if he's still thinking, he couldn't do his thing. And that's going to be the case for a little while. You know, as he – he'll get to a point – where he's seeing the defenses clearly and he's not having to think about it, and then he can play instinctively. But I think week two, D'Amico Ryans, I think they're going to throw some stuff at him that has him thinking a lot. And, and then without one or two of your top weapons, yeah, I, I think he's going to be better, of course, than week one, but I don't think he's going to have like a, a really good game. Yeah, I think he'll be better. He'll definitely bounce back. It's hard to who? to throw for less than 100 yards. Yeah. Like, it's, it's just yeah, hard to do that, especially when you have a quarterback who is as talented as Caleb Williams. Like, for me, I, I believe Rome Oduze or, or Keenan Allen, they could both be out, and I still think he would still have a better still outing than Moore, Well, yeah. better, but what we all think it'll be better than yeah. 93 yards. <laughs> Look, but. I... His his issue is number one they gotta they gotta put him in better situations to su be thing. successful. Yes, like take the plays that, take the plays that are there. Don't try to make the play. Like you gotta just take what's there. When you're young and you want your the game to slow down, take the play that's there. When you see it, take it. Yeah. And then as the game starts to unfold and unravel, and you get a better feel. Now you can start making plays because you've started to take what's there and you soften up the defense. But I think he just didn't do that, and they didn't put him in a position to do that in week one. This week, regardless of the defense of what, what D'Amico Ryans and that Texans team does, I think he'll have a bounce back. I'll give you a glass half full. Bryce Young's first win. 22 for 31, 235 yards and a touchdown against 
CJ Stroud in the Texans. Yeah, okay. Don't the, just so you know the the, the, the number one picks don't, that we're struggling. You see, see what, is, what are you talking don't about? Don't forget to Bryce Young. It's Great. not a good. That's not classic. They're not. I'm not trying to be fresh. You know, number you were, one you were, picks. He you got his trying, first win were, against D'Amico Ryan's defense. Excellent. I'm not trying to be. Mar Chase was bottled up week one, but is still confident in the slow to start Bengals. Take a listen. Do you feel like y'all are still? top of the AFC, like in the mix to win the AFC each year? I mean, where do you feel like y'all are? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Everybody knows that, bro. It's not It's not no if. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we are the team to be in the AFC, and we know it, and we got to act like it, and we got to play like it, too. You talk about the, the chirping and the talking. Does that make it more fun for you? In the game, yeah. You know what I'm saying? When the media come, y'all just blow it up and then make some stuff out of it, but I'll just wait till the game come now. I'm smarter than that now. I'm four years in. <laughs> He doesn't know what he just said a exactly. few minutes earlier. <laughs> I love it. Okay, here love comes it. the media. Uh, I, <laughs> right. I mean, the city's own. I mean, honestly, <laughs> and this is a loaded field, <laughs> but this, I think, is the worst take of the year. <laughs> I honestly think across, not just NFL, across no. all sports. You think it's the number one I seed? I think this is the number one seed for worst take of the year. <laughs> The idea, just bring out the damn board. I mean, I, there's, no, there's no preamble needed. The idea, and by the way, the preseason bulletin board, if you remember, yeah. Joe Burrow, who I like, built to beat them, he said. Yeah. All right, we'll see you on Sunday. Uh, he was Jamar refused to say Patrick Mahomes' name because he thought he was going to be number one on the list, wasn't even number one on the list. But now we're to the regular season board, and Jamar Chase front and center where he wants to be, saying the dumbest thing I've heard a football player say in a decade, which is that the team that has won the conference two years in a row and four of the last five and is back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions is not the team to beat. Instead, the, the Bengals' last two years, oh, my God, I just <laughs> fell off the stage. You saw, why didn't you warn me, Wild? Why didn't you give me a heads up? Why didn't you tell me? I was about to plummet off the stage. Uh, that, that they're the team to beat. And can I just say one other thing? Yeah. Because I've been very complimentary of the Bengals this week. I'm, as popular as you've been on Ravens Twitter, I have been cooking in Cincinnati Twitter. Really? Like that awful skyline chili you're Ed forced fellows. to eat. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm going to ruin all that right now. Hey, Jamar Chase, I remember the first game you ever played against the Chiefs. You crushed us. Do you remember it? Because you've done nothing since. Oof. First game against the Chiefs. Greg, look. First game. 11 for 266, 24 yards to catch, three touchdowns. Four games since, 22 for 267, same yards basically. The, and by the way, also, I'm not saying Jamar Chase is a system guy. I'm saying uh, you're oh. not the same guy without uh -huh. T. Higgins. I'm just saying, you, 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 all I mean, of a sudden, you live, wow. you live the number one receiver life without without a, a co-star next to you. You're good. You're, you know, it, it, you want a dollar more than Justin Jefferson. I'm just saying Justin Jefferson, he had T. Higgins his whole career. Mm. Wow. Just some things to think about. Stop. Talking about going through the AFCs through Cincinnati. No, you only stop through Cincinnati if your plane gets rerouted and you're like, oh, my God. Okay. This is miserable. Lost all your goodwill. Parks. I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> we got to stop. It's Bengals right. right. <laughs> Part of me really I'm, – I'm being dead serious. I wonder if, because look, when we talk about the Chiefs and Mahomes, and not just us, but most shows, it's kind of like they're on another plane, Yeah. right? It's like, who's who's the biggest threat to them? Who, who are they going to play in the Super Bowl? You know, it's like, and part of me is kind of hoping that Jamar was thinking, like, who's going to meet the Chiefs? Who's the no, team that's not to what beat? he was saying. I'm just hoping that's what he meant, because this makes absolutely no sense. That said... There's a small bit of respect I have for that. Because I get where he's coming from. Because oh. notice what he said. We got to act like it. Right? He's talking them up. He's speaking it into existence. Oh, okay. We are the team to beat. We got to act like it and we got to play like it. So he's saying, look, I'm not bowing to the Chiefs. And they put, I've said this before, but they put their pants on one leg at a time just like we do. Everybody else can bow. Not us. And we got to act like it, and we got to play like it. Okay. I, respect. Respect. I respect it. it it's, it's not true. Like, <laughs> I, let's be honest. Let's be real. Like, I, I get it. When you've beaten the team, and you've, beat, you've gone to their place, and you've, you've taken down the Giants. 
years ago. I Nick, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it Name has. another team that has done but it. What the, Tom Brady. But, but the Chiefs have ended their season two I years that. in a row I since I get then. that. But once – it's like trying something new. Like, until you've tried it and actually accomplished it and overcame whatever it is you're trying, you, you feel like, you know what, I'm going to keep trying it until I get it. Once you get it, you feel like the next time you do it, I'm going to get it because I've gotten it before. That's the Bengals as it pertains to the Chiefs. And Jamar Chase just truly believes because I've, I've whooped up on this team. Like, it's amazing. It's amazing how.